Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and you might be wondering, why am I staring at a bunch of Pokemon stuff, and some Vietnamese on the side of the website, and then the instructions are in Vietnamese? Well, that's because I discovered somebody really cool on YouTube tonight. Uh, Lucola? Is I think the name uh, on YouTube. I think they go by a different name of Lolex Game or something like that. Basically, what this person does is they take a bunch of mobile games and they make private servers. But the way they do it is really smart. So a lot of the times it's very difficult to share your private server setups because you got to get people to match your network setups or match your network settings at least. Uh, upload the files in the databases and import them and run them through how to do that. This guy does it in a very cool way. So instead of guy, girl, I'm assuming here, this person, it's 2022, I gotta be correct. This person does things a little bit differently. So I downloaded this earlier and I spent a couple hours trying to figure out how to get it to work before I found the website because I originally found these files through Rage Zone. The instructions on Rage Zone were terrible. I could not get it to work to save my life. But once I found his website, just by like throwing the password for the zip file into Google, um, I was able to find the correct instructions, use my phone to uh, translate the Vietnamese to English. And I kind of figured out what was meant by some of this stuff with VMNet 8 NAT and subnet IP and things like that. You do need VMware Workstation. It's a nightmare to get this to work if you use VMware Player because VMware Player doesn't come with the VM network uh, editor. But you can also just download the VM network editor and put it in your install directory. But... It's, it's a hacky workaround. It doesn't seem to work very well, but I did get the game to work. So, let's talk about it. This game looks badass. I've been a huge Pokemon fan all my life. And once I saw the video for this game, I knew I wanted to play it. Now, the thing is, it looks like it is mostly a multiplayer game. And this is a mobile offline server emulator for it. Now, when, a ser when you have a server emulator... Basically what that server emulator does is it allows you to emulate connections on the server so you can go through and just do whatever you want to do and basically play it offline. Very similar to my old video for Drift City with the Drift City Offline where you can drive around the world by yourself or how even Need for Speed World worked at first before it was put back online with the Soapbox World. So. What do you basically do in this game? Well, it's this style battling. Uh, what is this? RPG is what they call it? Good lord, I don't even know um, this game type. But it's a badass... Oh, there are instructions to set up. But again, it's... Uh, it, it's in Vietnamese. I actually hadn't watched this video yet. So... <laughs> Awkward... Um, but I'll show you the intro for this game, because it's badass. Um, we'll watch this together. Play, stupid. Good freaking lord. But, um, oh, I don't know if I have sound enabled for you guys. Here, I'm just going to mute myself and we'll watch this together.
but I'm sure right off the bat you see why, as a Pokemon fan, I want to play this game. And boy, am I going to go through this guy's files and make a ton of videos probably on all these private servers. Anyway, that's enough. Um, long story short, I'm going to show you guys how to get this server working because it's a little confusing. So, and then maybe we'll do a Let's Play on it because this game is awesome and there is an offline element that you can kind of emulate. Anyway, let's go through on how to get this working. So first of all, you do need VMware Workstation. I actually only have VMware Player. I didn't want to go through, uninstall it, install Workstation Cracked, and deal with that nightmare. So I just stayed with VMware Player. There is a way to add vmnetcfg.exe to your um, install directory of VMware, but that's a video for another day. It's a, That'll be a short video. I love doing short tutorials that are good for anybody. But anyway, the first thing you want to do is obviously you need to download that guy's files, and then you need to extract the 7z file. We do not yet, um, I haven't yet tried to edit the APK to point to a different server. I know it's doable because I know exactly which IP it's looking at to run the game. But I haven't tried it yet because you have to hex edit this file. And I just haven't had the chance to try it yet. Also, I do not yet have this working on a phone. I need to figure out how to port forward with VMware, which I think I figured out how to do, but I'm not sure. It's a big pain in the butt. I think I need to port forward on my actual router because for some reason, even though my phone is on the same network, this only works in an Android emulator. I don't know why it has to the Android emulator has to be on the same computer running the Windows emulator through VMware. Now, the way I was saying, this guy just gives you a VMware file for your server. So as you can see, it's literally a VMware file. Like there's, it's a nine gig VMware file with Windows 7 x64. The way you get this started is you simply start VMware. Now, the first time you start it, you're going to get a pop-up and it's going to ask you if you copied the files or if you want to move the files. You want to click I moved these or I moved them. Um, I moved the files. There's a button that's I moved them, I copied them, or cancel. You want to click move. If you don't click move, it's going to break things and not work correctly. But once this boots up, um, you'll see the rest of what you have to do. But there is the next step that you do have to do is this VMNet CFG. You do have to run this. And wherever you have VMNet 8, you need to edit that. Now, you should have this already here by default, but if you don't, you can just simply add network and then select VMNet 8. Not that big of a deal. You have to make sure it's an NAT, and you want to make sure your subnet IP is 192.168.1.0. And then click apply, click OK, restart the VM emulator once it boots up. Just close that, you're good to go. Next, you do need to still have control panel on your computer. Go to network, network and sharing center, go to VM net 8, go to properties, and then in your IPv4, go to properties and make this 1.1. .1. From there, you're good to go for this to connect. Now, you'll see on the actual Windows emulator, this is already set up pretty easily. You have PHP study, you have the redistributables, you have the center server, the history server, the game server, and Navicat. Navicat is the tool you use for browsing the database. So, you want to run these in numerical order. It's that simple. Run PHP study, wait for it to boot. There is an issue with my computer where I'm missing font files to match this guy's system. So it's going to look a little bit weird on my computer. But once this starts up, I'll show you which button you click. I've used PHP study before. Not that hard. You simply click this button. That launches Apache and MySQL in your system, and you're good to go. Next, you want to run the Redis, which it'll just have a bunch of CMDs running in the background, which is totally fine. You want to run Center Server which that'll load all the game config information. You want to run the history server, which it's running on 10,001. And then you want to run game server right there. And that's all you have to do to get the game actually up and running as far as the server is concerned. So 
Once that's up and running, you do need an Android emulator. I just quickly downloaded a uh, LD player, but actually because of, you know, Windows 11 and how it works now, you can actually have uh, the Windows subsystem for Android and run this through there. I installed LD player because I didn't want to go download and install the Windows subsystem because I just, that would have taken too long because I want the rooted version. But I have LD player, which not the first one I would recommend because it's very ad heavy. But all you have to do is you basically want to test the connection. Just 128, it's working, it's sending out info, you're good to go. Even though there's the little yellow triangle in the Windows system, it's still fine. You can actually minimize this, not even worry about it. And you can also just run this tool, which opens an admin prompt. Again, this has to be translated, but it's actually not going to be that difficult to do because if you're on here anyway, you simply just go to game server and you can actually just find where that is. So gm slash gm dot php. Probably you just do gm dot php and search for it. Okay, it's not going to search. That's fun. Mm. You can go in, you can try to find it in here, and you can start. Uh... Messing with things. It's in here somewhere. I saw it earlier. I don't remember where I saw it. I know it's in here. I don't know where I saw it, and I don't know why the search function doesn't work. Java stuff, that's fun. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, it won't search, that's interesting. Anyway, you can go in, I'm sure we can translate this somehow and actually figure out what these things say. Not a big deal at the moment. So, once you have LD player up and running, at least in LD player it's as easy as just drag and drop the APK and it installs. Once the APK installs, you can run the app. I tell it no because it's not like it needs to know. You can also edit all your settings in here. I don't actually know what everything is in here. Root permission. Oh, okay. Cool. But as you can see, if you get this notice as soon as you launch the game in the emulator, you are good to go. You know that this works. So you can see it's uh, lucola.blogspot.com as a YouTube channel, a Lulex game shared by this guy, sourced by this guy, and you can start it. So you can basically just put in whatever name you want. It'll load things, and it remembers that I already started the game. Um, so I'll probably restart this and make a different username if I do a Let's Play on it. I do want to do a Let's Play on this. There are some things that are in... I don't want to insult anybody. I don't know what language that is, so I'm not even going to try to guess. But if we really wanted to do a full translation of this game, it's possible. Uh, there is audio to this game. The game, it, it's overall, it's pretty cool. It's very up-to-date as far as Pokemon is concerned. As you can see, there's Hoopa, which is a very new, I think, legendary. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we can click on Summon. Whoa. Every summon will cost different resources. Let's try a Diamond Summon first. Click your Diamond Summon. Purchase it one time. As you can see, it is saying things that I did, ugh, yeah, with these. Anyway, you just tap on the screen, confirm it, and now we're good to go. Misty, shut up. This island town, a very peaceful city. This, I think, would be very cool to stream. So, you know, I might do that. Maybe pay attention for streams starting again soon. This looks like a ton of fun. I don't know if it's a game that's got an ending to it, let's say. 
But, uh, you know, we'll learn how to play. It looks like it's a ton of fun anyway. And I can't even, honestly, I, I feel like I would have fun with this because I like these style games where it's the turn-based attacking. Uh, maybe it's the old Pokemon in me. But it wants me to click Bulbasaur. Click on that. Ah, if you click the ring and then tap the ring, you get an extra attack, which is sweet. All right, cool. So it's that kind of game. Got it. Ah, uh, Marowak. Meowth getting chased around by... Oh, it's Team Rocket's Meowth. I should have figured. If Ash and Misty are here, that's Meowth from Team Rocket. Anyway. Marowak. Uh, on its head, Cubone wears the skull of its dead mother as a helmet. Because of this, much of its actual face has never been seen. Oh, you can scroll on this. That's cool. Sick. All right, so it wants me to attack. And I could actually set up like keyboard keys for this too, so I wouldn't even need to use the mouse the whole time. But it's basically a mouse-based game. So I'm not going to be mad if I have to use a mouse the entire time I play this. Cool, and we beat Marowak. But yeah, that's how easy it is to honestly get this guy's games rolling. And I have a couple of them. Uh, not VMware, I need that folder. But there's a couple different games that I've already downloaded from this guy. Um, Pocket Incoming, but there's an error with the 7Z file. Poking New, I can't get to work. And EFT. I'm not going to tell you guys what this is, but EFT. You can go browse this guy's YouTube channel and figure out what this is. This is a large amount of files. Um... I think it's something, yeah, it's 26 gigabytes. Uh, yeah, this is a first-person shooter. That's the only hint I'll give you. But I would love to try to get this working because I never played this game. And I don't even know if it's actually officially still up and running. But that's setting up the server for this stuff. Uh, if I figure out how to port forward and get this to work on a mobile device to the point that even if I'm at work, I can actually connect to my server at home and we can play this all together. I'm so down. I'm not going to try. It's not something I would make money off of. Um, I also have Clash of Clans servers. I have a whole bunch of servers. This is Clash Royale servers. Um, Pokemon Engine. I have the Pokemon Green Fire client and server. I have the Sudden Attack stuff. I don't think I'll ever run that though. Crazy Cart is a game I have emulated in the past. That's a fun game. I think Clash of Clans would be fun to have set up, and I feel like this would be fun to have set up. But let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to stream it, let me know. I will continue to try to figure out how to get this to work so you can play it on your phone instead of just emulating it on the computer. But I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.